What happens when you take a junkyard all aluminum 5.3 liter, add a cam, heads, and holly high ram intake, then pop on a junkyard M90 blower? Hey guys, Richard Holder here. Welcome to the channel. I'm at West Tech Performance, and here's the question Can you go down to your local wrecking yard? find a 3800 V6 that has an M90 supercharger, and then take that off, bring it over to the dyno, and make 600 horsepower. That's right, it's an official new world record for M90 power over 600 horsepower. How did we do it? Let's check it out. In preparation for our M90 Eaton supercharger test, the first thing we did was remove the Brian Tweed Racing Trinity intake manifold from the 5.3 liter. We then installed the Holly High Ram lower intake. The test motor was a 5.3 liter L33 all aluminum 5.3 liter from the junkyard. It was a stock bottom end with TrickFlow 220 as cast heads further ported by the guys at Brian Tooley Racing. It also had a Brian Tooley Racing Stage 4 LS3 camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. Topped by the Holly High Ram. Inch and 7 eighths long tube headers. Feeding collector extensions and full mufflers all run by a Holly HP management system. Okay, let's go out and make a pull with the Holly High Ram. Whoa. <laughs> camera shake. We had camera shake. Speed wobbles. Set our camera up here. And why not? Okay guys, here we go. Let's talk about our M90 on the 5.3 liter. And we've talked previously about what the 5.3 liter is, the L33 with trick flow heads, the Brian Tooley camshaft. And we ran it with a Holly High Ram this time rather than the BTR Trinity intake manifold. We'll have a comparison of that stuff later on on another video. But let's talk about the High Ram. The reason we put that on there was so that we could put the Eaton supercharger on there. So we needed to run it NA with the Holly High Ram. But the reason that we chose the 5.3 is very important. We have run this supercharger before, this little M90 from the junkyard from a 3800 V6. We've run the supercharger on a 4.8 liter, but we've stepped up now to the 5.3 liter because the 5.3 liter makes a lot more NA horsepower. In fact, almost, well, actually more than 100 horsepower or more. And the way to make big power with a supercharger, especially when you're limited in the airflow potential of that supercharger, is to increase the power of the NA motor. See, the supercharger is actually spinning fast enough to supply the airflow to make the power. And what we're trying to do is make the whole combination more efficient by making the NA power more powerful. So we put ported heads on our 5.3. We stepped up to the 5.3 displacement from the 4.8. We... Um, have about the same compression, but a lot more cam timing and a lot more head flow. So let's find out how we started out with our NA combination. So this was our 5.3 liter with the high ram, the trick flow heads, and the Brian Tooley Racing um, Stage 4 LS3 camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the um, specs up here so you can see. It's a pretty big, pretty good sized camshaft. Um, designed originally for rec port heads, but guess what? Also works <laughs> on our cathedral port application and also works under boost as the cams tend to do. So our combination, our 5.3 liter NA with the high ram produced 545 horsepower. 
and out here at 7,300 RPM, we ran it out to 75, 7,600, and peak torque happened pretty high in the RPM range, 428 foot-pounds, all the way out at 6,100 RPM, owing to the short-ish runner style of the high ram. So now let's take a look and see what happens when we ran an Eaton supercharger on top of the high ram. Now it's time for the blower. So let's take the high ram lid off, and then we'll replace it with the M90. Start off with our adapter plate. Before installation of the M90 supercharger, we cut the throttle body flanges off, then took the housings over to Accufab. They set them up on their CNC machines, measured everything out, then using a ball mill, opened up the throttle openings as close as they could to 92 millimeters to allow more flow into the supercharger. Then Jason from JT Fab welded up three and a half inch aluminum standoffs onto our housings. Using couplers and adapters, we can now install our throttle body. For this setup on the 5.3, we've actually done a bunch of porting inside there. Guys at Mahovitz, thanks to John and Gary for doing machining in there, and then JT Fab, uh, Jason welded this flange on here. That's so I can put this on there. So this is the 92 millimeter throttle body, but you can see we have an adapter. And then what I need to do is put a coupler from this side over this side, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, got our throttle body and elbow installed. It's got a clamp in place. Have our adapter, the 92 millimeter. Got our linkage hooked up. Now the only question is, will it work? Not surprisingly, the 90 degree elbow did not work because of the amount of vacuum between the throttle body and the supercharger. It simply collapsed and wouldn't allow us to run. It was replaced by this simple straight version and we were ready to rock. Yeah. Okay guys, here's a moment of truth. We installed our Holly high ram and then put our adapter plate and our little M90 supercharger. The M90 supercharger, as we saw in the video, was modified. We put the three and a half inch opening in it, went in and ball milled it, and then after the guys from Accufab did that machining to open up that the throat size, basically, I went in with a little porting tool just to radius some of the edges. It's still not perfect, and I'm hoping that the guys from Jokers are able to do even more modifications to improve the flow rate of this thing, because we're going to try to make some big power with this deal. But I just went in and transitioned the edges off to try to smooth it out. But we didn't do any porting further in closer to the opening into the rotors or on the discharge side. This is just making the opening bigger. And we ran it with a 2.6 inch uh, pulley from the guys at ZZP, so we were spinning it fairly fast, over 18,500 RPM um, at our peak engine speed run with the supercharger. So what I want to show is this combination with our 92 millimeter throttle body running and the 2.6 blower, it can make some pretty serious power if you put it on a high power NA motor. So this is our naturally aspirated deal, 545 horsepower and 428 foot balance. And here's what happened when we added our M90 supercharger. You could see we had the big torque increases down low. We went from 390 foot pounds down here at 4,300 
up to 535 foot pounds. So big torque down there, but you can see from the top, we were able to make over 600 horsepower, so that's a new world record. I don't know if that's the case or not, but it's uh, it's a pretty good power output. 604 or 5, 604 horsepower. Peak torque checked in at 535.5 foot-pounds of torque. And you can see the gains as we get up higher and higher where the 5.3 liter is getting more and more efficient, but the blower is getting less and less efficient, basically running out of airflow. And that's kind of what happens when the blower is just a little bit too small. I don't think we're done making power here. We saw on the data logging, the boost went from 150 kPa and then had a falling boost curve down to 138 kPa. So we're looking at seven and a half pounds, 7.4 pounds, down to about 5.6 pounds. So <laughs> the blower really is sized so that it just can't keep up with the airflow demand of our pretty efficient 5.3 liter. But are we done? No video coming up next is going to be a tick performance air to water intercooler sandwiched between this blower and the high ram. And also you can saw you saw that we used a Holly High Ram in the Holly HP management system. This was run on E85 with 80 pound injectors and this had 21 to 22 degrees of total timing at the power peak and for you guys looking for this kind of holly stuff check them out they have a sale going on this week 20 percent off on the holly stuff so go check out holly.com i'm richard holner please make sure to like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff and i'll put a link in the description